In the last two months, I've made significant progress on my roll to the middle splits, but this isn't the first time that I've tried to learn this skill. A while ago, a long while ago, I started training towards the middle splits. I made a comprehensive program of all the ways I was going to work on this feat of flexibility using combinations of exercises to target not just increased ranges of motion, but strength as well. And then I did nothing. I, I didn't do it. Every time it came to the mobility aspect of my training, I either told myself that I didn't have time to do it, or I suddenly gained an urge to handstand or pull up or do any other form of training. Flexibility is an area of training that I've always struggled with, and so, because I wasn't good at it, I kept putting it off. I also fell into the trap that I regularly talk about on this channel of aiming solely for perfection and discounting anything that wasn't perfect. And so, if I couldn't do the full suite of exercises and mobility drills I'd lined up for myself, I didn't do any of them, which subsequently fueled this cycle of not making progress, not enjoying training, and not wanting to put in the work even more. But two months ago, I was hit with an injury that has since restricted my training, but means that I have no excuse but to work on my middle splits because there are now low distractions. But I still wanted to keep this extremely simple so that I had zero excuses when either fatigue hit or the motivation just wasn't there. And so I've primarily been using the Cossack squat and rotating between the active and passive variations of the middle split hold as the core elements of my training. The idea being that simple as this is, it should make it extremely easy to remain consistent. And we know that even doing a little bit consistently for a long period of time can yield phenomenal results. I also found that I responded really well to loaded stretching, which is interesting because in other elements of training, weighted calisthenics has always yielded better results for me than, say, increasing reps. I've also entertained stretching between sets too, which I think is a great way to add density to our workout without increasing the amount of time we're spending in the gym. But the exception, the only mobility work that I refuse to do between sets is max attempt holds. The only reason for this is that if I'm pushing to go into the maximum range of motion, I don't want the stretch to be impacted by any fatigue from some other exercise I was doing before. More to the point is that if we're tired while pushing into extreme ranges of motion that we're not familiar with, that, at least in my mind, opens us up to mistakes which can lead to injuries. In these two months, I've gone a long way along this journey and I know that the progress on this is unlikely to remain this linear, but now I feel I've got enough in the habits and the discipline tanks to deal with those hard times when they come. Some people have wondered, perhaps fairly, why you would want to learn this movement. I mean, it is a strange skill for a calisthenics athlete to want to go for. And the honest answer is that it's just a different challenge. It makes me push myself in different ways, much in the same way that any of the other skills I've learned has really pushed me. And I'd argue I don't need to do them either. I mean, what use is a front lever? I don't particularly think full middle splits will help me learn any of these other skills either maybe slight benefits towards straddle attempt holds but no the core goal here is push my body to a limit that i previously just didn't think was attainable and see how far i can go so i'll keep grinding through this and updating you on my progress but actually if you want to check out any of the other skills that i've learned on this channel then check this video out right here